Hey everyone, I have some great news. My brand new James Ellis Fit app just launched as of yesterday and I'm super excited about it. Why? Because it's an app that will work for everyone. It doesn't matter what your fitness level is, doesn't matter what your gender is, this app will work for you. Uh, if you're new, you're gonna love it because it's simple. You're not having to use confusing machines or anything like that. You're just using resistance bands. So the great thing about resistance bands is one, they're easy to use, two, you can take them anywhere. So if you're traveling, you might be a person that travels a lot, you're always on planes, or maybe you drive a semi, or, or you're just traveling all the time for whatever the case may be. Um, resistance bands can fit into a carry-on bag. They're super small, and they're actually very effective. They have great resistance. A lot of the different bands uh, uh, that you can get have several different resistances on them. You can buy resistance bands that have three bands that come with them that you can use all three at once or you can use them individually. So resistance bands are the way to go folks that you can use them when you're on a hike, when you're at the beach, when you're at a hotel, even at home. And that's, that's one thing I really loved about this because there are a lot of people that are intimidated by the gym. They don't want to go to the gym because one, they're confused by the machines, two, they might be intimidate, intimidated by the people, or perhaps they just don't have a lot of time and they don't want to spend 20 minutes driving to the gym, 20 minutes driving home after their workout. So you can save a lot of time by working out at home too, and these workouts are very effective. Again, like I said, they'll work for any level of fitness. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're new, they will work for you. So. I start off, it's it's a 20 minutes, it's a 20 minute workout, five days a week. So, you know, commit to it how you feel you should commit to it. If you haven't worked out for a long time, maybe you don't wanna work out five days a week. Um, but what you're doing is we have a three minute warm up that we're gonna be doing a simple jog in place and some stretching, and then we're gonna do 10 minutes of high intensity resistance training in place. So we'll use the bands or body part specific workouts for each day. So one day you might be training chest or, or back or arms or shoulders, different body parts. We'll focus on specific body parts each day. You're going to do, like I said, 10 minutes of high intensity resistance training. So um, what that means is the, the program starts off where you're doing 20 minutes consecutive of a specific exercise or 20 minutes, sorry, 20 seconds consecutive of a specific exercise. And then you're taking a 40 second break. So the intervals are one one minute intervals. So um, you're doing 20 seconds hard and then 40 seconds rest. You're gonna do 10 of those. So 10 minutes of high intensity resistance training into five minutes of high intensity interval training. So with the interval training, you might be doing sprinting in place, you might be doing high knees, single leg butt kicks, um, fast jacks, things like that for five minutes. So again, you'll go 20 seconds hard and then a 40 second rest between the intervals. And then we'll wrap it up with a two minute cool down of stretching and a little bit of motivation motivational talk kind of thing like that. But um, I just encourage you guys, check it out. Um, each uh, As the weeks progress, you're actually going to be doing the high intensity for longer periods of time and getting shorter rest. So it might switch to, at some point in the app, it'll switch to 25 seconds hard and 35 seconds uh, of rest. So really the idea of high intensity interval training is to go as hard as you can, whatever your level of fitness is, you're going as hard as you can for that time that you're on, for that 20 seconds on. Then you're just completely resting, maybe hands on the back of the head and try to get your breath back. But yes, folks, these, these will totally work. For me and myself, I feel like I'm very advanced in my level of fitness. I have, I'm in pretty good cardio shape, but the workouts still push me, even if it's a 20 second on and a 40 second off interval. By the very end, months down the road, you're gonna be doing 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So it actually gets really intense. But when if, if the program progresses before you're ready, then just do that same week again. So uh, uh, the workouts will switch from week to week to different things. Um, and uh, you guys are gonna love it. It's uh, what I encourage people to do is to roll out of bed in the morning and do these workouts right away if you can. So get up 30 minutes earlier than you normally would and roll out of bed and don't eat go straight into doing this workout. Why? Because you, one, you, you're on an empty stomach. It's called fasted, a, a fasted workout. Uh, breakfast is what, why they call breakfast breakfast is because you're breaking the fast, break fast, breakfast. So um, you'll roll out of bed before breaking the fast, do the workout. If you were to eat and then do the workout, what happens is your body's going to use the food that you just ate as energy, as fuel, 
rather than going after existing fat in the body. So your body has already used the food you ate the day before while you were sleeping. It was using that to rebuild the muscle and, and just, just using it while you were sleeping for eight hours or whatever it may be. But when you don't, so you wake up on an empty stomach, that forces your body when you do cardio first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, it forces your body to go after existing fat in the body for energy to get you through that workout. That's great news for you because that might have been stubborn fat that you just couldn't, you know, your body just wouldn't go after because it always had food in the morning. So I just encourage you, roll out of bed, do this, this uh, fasted cardio, this fasted workout I should say, um, of 20 minutes and you're gonna get great results if you will commit to the program I promise you you're gonna get great results so give it a shot folks uh, I really look forward to you trying the app out I put the link in the description so try it out folks I, I I'm so excited to find out the great results that you're going to get I know that you can handle this workout I know you can do it I have faith in you uh, and you're gonna build up you're gonna get in better and better shape these workouts will become easier and easier but again, I just caution you, don't overdo it. If five days a week, if you're not working out at all right now and you haven't for a long time, maybe you should only do two or three days for the first week. You know, ease into it and then slowly add days. And if the program pro progresses to a faster pace, to longer interval periods than you, than you care to do, then don't go that long. Just go for 20 seconds. Or if you can't do 20 seconds, go as long as you can. Uh, just be honest with yourself. That's what I always tell people. If you're not honest with yourself, you're not cheating me. You're not cheating anyone else. You're cheating yourself. So I encourage you to push yourself in these workouts as hard as you can, but you know the threshold of your body. So I'm so excited for you guys. Please try out my James Ellis Fit app. I think you're really going to enjoy it. You're going to get great, great results. I look forward to getting messages in my inbox of you telling me the great results you're getting. As you're doing the program, uh, use the hashtag James Ellis app. That way I can see your photos or you can send me uh, testimonials or anything like that. That always helps me. I really appreciate you guys' support over the years. I love you guys and I look forward to getting in shape with you in 2019. Lord bless.